Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we have a fascinating problem on our hands, combination sum 4. So it's a juicy one that allows us to dive deep into the world of dynamic programming, so stick around and by the end of this video you will become a dynamic programming wizard. So uh, let's start by understanding the problem. We have an array of unique integers and we have a target sum. And the task is to find out how many different combinations of number from this array can sum up to the target. But here is the catch, the order matter. So for example, one, two, and also two, one are two different combinations. So uh, we will uh, dive into dynamic programming. So now, how do we solve this? We will use dynamic programming and imagine you are building a pyramid right? And the base of the pyramid is when the target is zero and the peak is our final target. And each block of the pyramid is a smaller problem contributing to the main problem. So uh, let's dive into implementation right away. So first dp0 times target plus one and dp0 will be one. So here dp uh, I mm, will store the number of combination that make up I and DP zero uh, is one because there is only one way to make zero and that is uh, with zero itself. So not picking any element. So then we have four I in range one to target plus one and for num in nums and if i minus num greater than zero dpi plus dpi minus num and return dp target as simple as this so here is the magic each dpi is made up uh, of small dp uh, uh, j uh, values uh, and where j is any number that could have uh, added to a number in uh, nums to make uh, i so uh, yeah and uh, for example if we have nums uh, one two and i uh, equals three then the dp three will be just dp two plus dp at uh, one. So, and uh, yeah, we're returning the result and this is uh, our pyramid uh, peak. So uh, let's run uh, it for uh, some test cases to verify it's working. So yeah, all good and uh, a dp target so this value will contain the total number of different combination that makes up uh, the target. So uh, what is the uh, time complexity? So time complexity is O n times target, where n is the size uh, of nums, and space complexity is just O uh, target. So for the DP array, because we have uh, here is space complexity, uh, target plus one. Yeah. So uh, let's submit it for unsynthesis cases as well to verify. Yeah, so all good. And as you can see, our implementation bit 84% with respect to memory and also 74% with respect to uh, runtime. I think uh, I previously run this code and it was even faster. So yeah, even 36 seconds, but uh, probably it's depend on the test case. So for those uh, interested uh, in other programming languages than Python, I uh, got implementation of this uh, solution in multiple languages like Go, Rust, C++ and more. Uh, so check the video uh, description for uh, details. And all right, so that's it for today. And this problem is beautiful example of uh, how dynamic programming can make our lives so much uh, easier. So I hope you found this session 
useful and uh, engaging. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome uh, coding adventure. And until next time, keep practicing, stay motivated, and happy coding.